everyone. Welcome back to day three of Imagination Station. I have a question for you. Do you know your five major senses? What are your five major senses? Shout them out. There's touch, there's taste, there's seeing, there's smelling, and there's hearing. Those are your five major senses. Now, earlier, you met Sierra the mountain lion. So I want to talk with today's warm-up question about mountain lions and their senses. Do you think that mountain lions have a stronger sense of smell or a stronger sense of hearing? Smell or hearing? So those mountain lions up in the Rockies, do you think they're doing better at smelling or better at hearing? Shout out your answer at the screen. Talk about it. What do you think? Let's get a drum roll. The answer is hearing. They have extremely keen senses of hearing, but not so much with the smelling. So if they're gonna smell you, you probably gotta smell pretty bold. Let's talk today about being bold. All right, here we are. And our special guest of the day is Sierra the Mountain Lion. Today's lesson is about Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Jesus. What does it mean to be bold? Well, bold means like strong or powerful. A color can be bold. Stella, what's a bold color here? Oh, that is a bold version of blue. This one is like a dark blue. It's not very bold. But this is bright and loud, so we call it bold. Uh, personality can be bold. If someone is bold, they're excited, they're confident. One of the things that God wants us to do is to be bold about telling others about Jesus or telling them about our church. But sometimes that can be really hard to do. And so that's what we want to learn about today. So I want you to find your bag for day three. And we're going to look at the Bold Blaster. <laughs> Bold Blaster, all right? So find day three and clear out a little bit of space because this is going to get bold. Like now you're going to, like crazy bold. Like, so see how it's so neat? It's going to get bold. Like that. All right, there's going to be two pieces in your Bold Blaster bag. First, a little tube, and, and then this this may thing. look like this may look like a lollipop or something. It but, may look like a lollipop. But do not eat it. Because it is not a lollipop. It is not a lollipop. All right? So first, we're going to take this. All right? This is us. And maybe sometimes we're not feeling very bold to tell others about our faith. And if we just drop it on the table, not really much happens. All right? So that's kind of us in our own strength. But watch what happens when we make the bold blaster. All right? So take your lollipop and turn it upside down and put the tube on top of it, all right? And now, let's drop it and see what happens to the tube. Whoa, that flew so far. It was so bold. It boldly flew back. Let's try it one more time. Let's see Can how I it try? goes. Yes. All right, so Stella's gonna drop it. Let's see how far it goes. All right, so when you drop it, we wanna try and drop it straight down as possible. Whoa. All right, let's try it one more. All right, one, two, three. Whoa, all right, and went firing off. This is what happens when Jesus gives us his power. We can be bolder, we can go stronger, and we can go further than we thought. It's more than what we expected, and Jesus gives us power to be bold. Trust Jesus. Jesus. See you tomorrow at the Imagination Station.